What's up, music fans of the internet? I am Kevin. I am Derek. And together we are last week's album, talking about good music. Doing another album review for you here this week, but before we get started, let's kick things off like we always do with a little tasty beer. Cheers, Derek. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, everyone at home. And let's get into it. This week we're talking about Swimming Time by Shovels and Rope. A little background on the band. They're a South Carolina-based married duo made up of Michael Trent and Carrie Ann Hurst. Uh, you may not have heard of them, but they actually won Song of the Year and Emerging Artist of the Year uh, last September at the 2013 Americana Music Honors and Awards. So they are some uh, talented up-and-comers. This is their third LP following uh, Shovels and Rope, their debut, and uh, 2012's OB Joyful. And this one, Swimming Time, was actually recorded in their home and then produced by uh, Michael Trent himself, so a very DIY. There you have it on some background. Let's get into Sounds Like. Derek, what do you think of Swimming Time? Uh, Kevin, I think Swimming Time sounds like Americana's Bonnie and Clyde crafting rustic tunes and dropping lyrical knowledge from society's fringe. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I think I heard a G on that, and I want to emphasize it's Swimming Time, Derek. Gotcha. <laughs> G will be uh, dropped. Yeah, so, um, which I think is kind of important. They drop a lot of words and and words. So I think it sounds like uh, Americana that's been ripped apart at the seams and painstakingly sewn back together. So with that, let's get into key tracks. Derek, what did you have? Kevin, I have Evil and Ohio. All right, I've got Bridge on Fire and Coping Mechanism, so... I believe Bridge on Fire comes first in terms of the uh, order on the album. I'll keep things off there. Uh, we get this intro of strum guitars and high-pitched harmonies, which are really nice. And then we quickly add in these banging piano, uh, pounding beats, sludgy electric guitar, really nice joint vocals. Lyrics take the uh, burnt bridge metaphor to a new level, a, uh, aided by these really layered, layered vocals. Um, the two of them sing together, but then they layer themselves on top of that really nicely. This really cool echoing call and response bridge that almost falls off the rails but doesn't. And uh, toward the end, there's these growing backing horns that really add tension um, to the song. And um, overall, it's a slow build of an Americana rager, if you can imagine such a thing. Um, Derek, tell us what you thought about Evil. Uh, e Kevin, Evil? surprisingly or not, lives up to its name in sound. It's much darker than what you were describing earlier. There's a burly, rumbling electric guitar hook, bass, snare, drum beat, haunting piano chords, and sinister harmonized vocals. Um, during the verses, it really kind of uh, pairs down musically, and there's just, uh, at times, just these haunting piano, you know, the haunting piano chords, and the layered vocals, which is very effective. And it tells kind of this dark story of what I interpreted to be uh, the single father who takes his kids uh, to the racetrack and, and meets a neighborhood gal. And um, some other stuff happens, and then the cops are involved. Um, the chorus um, goes a little something like this, a really descriptive um, and vivid lyrics here. Uh, but every now and then I get evil, I'm ashamed in the shadow of a steeple, I'm a lunatic looking through a keyhole, I hit my kids but I don't mean to, I'm addicted lying on the sidewalk, another victim of the mortgage bubble pop waiting on the other shoe to drop. Just really dark stuff here but uh, really comes together in a neat musical package. Yeah, don't be scared by those really dark lyrics, guys. <laughs> One of the catchiest chorus, uh, choruses on the album. You'll dig it when you hear it. It'll make sense then. Um, all right, my next key track is called Coping Mechanism, and it spans doo-wop and soul and gospel all mixed together in this really nice mashup. Jittery, bouncing piano, scrappy staccato guitar riffs, driving, driving drums, and soulful duet vocals. 
There's another awesome call and response in this one. Uh, the vocals towards the end get really, really awesome, just building on top of each other, back and forth. And to me, the song sounds like J. Roddy Walston and the Business mixed with those darlings. Um, and those are two of my favorite bands, so you can imagine how much I like the sound of this song. So that's Coping Mechanism. Derek, tell us about Ohio. Kevin, Ohio, um, you know, it, it kind of creates this rich, rustic sound with kind of a modern twist, and it ultimately sounds like what I think to be a riverboat casino in hell. Um, there's this rigid, bone-chilling electric guitar riff, um, horns, uh, well, I think trumpet, some trombone, old-timey piano, and uh, it, it uh, really kind of tells this uh, a story where a main character is swindled, um, obviously in Ohio, um, which leads them to enter the thievery industry, um, you, you know, and ultimately sends them on this path where they meet the nefarious character who um, robbed them in the first place. Just kind of a neat story against this uh, kind of wild, um, rustic musical background. Um, just one lyric I really liked, um, kind of there at the end. I got a friend in Dallas, got dirty little fingers, but he has a house like a palace. He said, there's something you should know that I know. A man can make a decent living off of suckers in Ohio. Just fantastic way to kind of end a really interesting, uh, enthralling song. Yeah, yeah, another good one. Um, best lyrics, let's take it there. I'm going to go with one from Coping Mechanism, uh, one of the key tracks I mentioned earlier, and it says, they say that there's just no substitute for the real thing, the kind of chemical that'll make your whole body sing. And that just kind of wraps up this album for me. It's um, real and raw, and there's no substitute for just that pure, raw talent that these two possess. So that's why I dug that lyric. Derek, what did you pick? Uh, Kevin, mine's coming from Evil, and it really kind of echoes uh, the points you just made there. Um, this one kind of describing the scene in the police station. Um, accusations in a room with a neon light. She said, don't you pay us no mind. All we ever shared was a loneliness. He and I was two of a kind. Um, just, you know, really kind of intricate things going on there um, from a rhyme scheme. And then at the same time, c c you know, casting this real vivid uh, image of, you know, being, being interrogated. You feel like you're right there. Yeah, yeah, another really good line there, Derek. Solid choice. And that brings us to overall rating. Derek, putting you on the spot, what are you giving it? Uh, Kevin, I'm going big. I'm giving this one a five. Um, really dug it. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on musically, as we kind of alluded to, you, you know, not... Uh, uh, strictly adhering to, you, you know, a, a classic Americana sound, but really kind of implementing a lot of unique elements um, instrumentationally and otherwise. Um, the lyrics were strong, uh, you know, obviously allowing for the vivid stories we were kind of describing earlier. Um, and I just really kind of liked how the male and female vocals kind of singing in unison really um, allowed for some unique storytelling, just kind of really being able to jump between characters um, seamlessly. So just really enjoyed it overall. Really uh, grew with me the more I listened to it. All right. Well, uh, we both really like this album then because I'm also going five out of five. That makes some sort of virtual high five between <laughs> Derek and I. Um, I liked it for a lot of the same reasons. They explore a lot of territory, both with genres and with instruments, stretching um, their typical Americana sound to great, great new heights. Um, they also work these new elements in without straying from their core, what makes them so great. Charm, wit, and always choosing emotion over perfection uh, when it comes to recording. Um, they add a lot of vocal flair. Derek mentioned the duet vocals, which they're kind of known for. I thought they took those to a lot of cool new places um, between call and response and layering themselves, adding a lot lot of variety to keep it interesting, and um, narratively, some of their best work to date, some of the best storytelling, uh, both lyrically and compositionally, Derek mentioned those instruments really add to these stories and add tension and sound and almost play their own characters, which is really, really cool. So um, yeah, there you have it. Five out of five from both of us means you should definitely check out Swimming Time by Shovels and Rope. Um, let us know what you think and uh, what you dug about it, and... 
there you have it. Another album review from last week's album. Don't forget to follow us here on uh, YouTube. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. And that's a wrap, guys. Another album review. As always, I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thank you.